Let's do these two examples of adding three fractions with unlike denominators. In the first example, we'll be able to make the first two fractions have the same denominator as the third. In the second example, we'll have to change all of the denominators. Beginning with this first problem. To get common denominators, we need to find a common multiple of all of the denominators. Typically, we prefer the least common multiple, which can be found by listing multiples of all the denominators in question and then picking out the smallest one. If we list out the multiples of 2, we get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. And with 5, we get 5, 10, 15, and so on. With 10, we get 10, 20, and so on. The problem with this method is you never know exactly how many multiples you're going to have to list. At this point, we see that we actually do have a common multiple among our list. 2 goes into 10 five times, 5 goes into 10 twice, and 10 goes into 10 once. 10 is the least common multiple of these three denominators. So 10 is going to be our new common denominator. To change the denominator of 1 half, we're going to multiply it by 5 over 5, because 5 times 2 will give us that denominator of 10. Of course, we need to multiply by 5 over 5, because that way we're just multiplying by 1 and not actually changing the value of the fraction. We need to multiply 3 fifths by 2 over 2. That way, the 2 times 5 will give us the denominator of 10. And 7 tenths we don't have to change at all because it already has a denominator of 10. Doing all this multiplication, we have 5 over 10. That's our first fraction. And then we're adding 6 over 10. And then we're adding to that 7 over 10. Now that we have common denominators, we can just add up the numerators. 5 plus 6 is 11, plus 7 is 18. So our answer is 18 over 10, which we could reduce by a factor of 2 and get 9 over 5. Or if you prefer mixed numbers, 5 goes into 9 once with 4 left over, so 1 and 4 fifths. Here is our second problem. And again, in order to find the least common multiple of the denominators, we could list out their multiples. If we do that, we would find that the least common multiple is 36. Though you can see in the case of 4, we have to write out quite a few multiples to get to 36. Because of how long this can take, it is sometimes a better method to look at the prime factors of the denominators in question. So we take our denominators, 9, 18, and 4, and write a factor tree to try to break them down into their prime factors. 9, we know, is 3 times 3. 18 is 9 times 2, and we can then break down 9 into 3 times 3, and 4 is just 2 times 2. So these are the factor trees, and we can use these to find the least common multiple. To find the least common multiple from the factor trees, we just need to take all of the unique prime factors, including repetition. So for example, from 9, I see that we're going to need two factors of 3. From 18, we will need two factors of 3, but we already have two factors of 3 from the 9. We'll also need a factor of 2. From the 4, we're going to need two factors of 2, but we already have one factor of 2 from the 18, so we'll only need one factor of 2 from the 4. Then, multiply all of these factors together, 3 times 3, which is 9, times 2, which is 18, times 2, which is 36. And that is our least common multiple, which agrees with what we had before from the lists. Again, the idea behind this is that all of the prime factors are represented in the least common multiple. Since 4 has two factors of 2, there are two factors of 2 in the least common multiple. Similarly for 18 and 9 and their prime factors. So let's go ahead and start rewriting these fractions. We'll have to multiply 2 over 9 by 4 over 4 in order to change its denominator to 36. We'll have to multiply 11 over 18 by 2 over 2 in order to change its denominator to 36. And we'll have to multiply 1 over 4 by 9 over 9 in order to change its denominator to 36. Then we get numerators of 8, 22, 
and 9. And now we can add the fractions because the denominators are the same. 8 plus 22 is 30, plus 9 is 39. So we get 39 over 36, which can be reduced by a factor of 3. Then we would get 13 over 12, which as a mixed number is 1 and 1 12th. And that's how to add three fractions with unlike denominators. You need to get a common denominator, and in order to do that, you can list out the multiples of the denominators you've got to find the least common multiple. Or you can use the prime factors. Now you don't have to use the least common multiple, any common multiple will do. But if you use the least common multiple, that'll keep your numbers a little bit smaller. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my pre-algebra course and pre-algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.